Lock and load. Lock and load. Uh, we got us lively here. All right. Lively. Let's see you smack one. She did lively. Permit candy. Permit candy. Got a little everything up here, don't you, Glenn? Yeah. Big loggerhead. Look at him. Always a sign of luck when you see them. Right in here, Blair. All right. Right there. Permit right out of here tail, and you can just see their tails coming up and popping up in these big waves. So you try, the current's coming this way, so you want to try to throw way up above them and let this crab kind of drift back to them. Let's see what happens here. See if that's far enough for them to see. Fish on. There he is. <laughs> Brother. I went right in the middle of them, man. There was no denying that crab. <laughs> Let me catch one. There was no denying that crab. There must have been 15 permits sitting right around it, Glenn. I don't think this guy even knows he's hooked yet. Running good. I have no idea what it is. You never know what you're going to get with Captain Glenn Andrews. Got to be the right kind. <laughs> We're back off Marco Island now. We're with Captain Glenn Andrews aboard the Mary Kay. We're out in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico. We were gonna come out here earlier this morning in the flat skiffs, but the wind prediction kind of picked up on us, and as you can see, it's kind of bouncy out here, so. I have no idea what we got on. We pulled up on this wreck out here and uh, just floated some crabs back to it. Sure enough, something picked it up. I have no idea what it is yet. We're hoping it's a big permit. Hoping it's a real big permit. It's got some pull to it. Can't tell you what it is yet, Glenn. Or do you people out there? But I'm gonna have to come back to the back of the boat. I know that. Bring it near it right about here. Oh, oh, oh. Is that music? Uh, is that music? It sounds like the right kind. Oh, I see some babies back here behind us. This, well, I'm anxious to see what it is. I have no clue what it is. What do you think, Glenn? What's that? So what do you think it is? I think it's the right kind. The right kind? The right kind. <laughs> Looks like a nice permit. The racing popping up. Uh, it is a big one. Oh, baby. <laughs> Man, what a place. Out in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico, if you ain't got numbers, it's hard to find these places unless you come over and see these big wolf packs of barracuda that are hanging out over them. Yeah, doggy. <laughs> that, brother, is a permit. He's hanging underneath the boat. They always like the bottom of your boat, Glenn. Yeah. Well, I got the barnacles off. You're okay. <laughs> you know, I nice love the way fish. these things pull. They get that big old flat body sideways in the current. Got you need a hand. I think I can grab this guy, okay. sir. Ah. Permit. Oh, that's Is a that duty. a pretty one? Look at that circle hook. I just fell right out. I fell right out. Marco Island permit. Glenn Andrews. I can't say enough. These things are awesome. I have to get him in the water. There he goes. Fish on. What you got there, Glenn? Uh, a racing mullet. A racing mullet? Let's hope. If it's a racing mullet, I'm going to change to what you're uh, using. Uh, it looks like a nice oh, racing mullet. Oh, it's a big Jack Cravelli. Oh, oh, oh! oh. I, got permit that I got a permit, brother. Big old Jack and a big old permit. Ah, you can't beat it. Oh, God. Oh. Gotta love them waves. You okay? Yeah. Fish. There's giant jewfish that hang around these wrecks out of here, and they'll come up and eat your permit or they eat your I'll fish. Keep, I'll try to keep his attention over here with his, with his big uh, Jack Cravelli. I'm going to try to get this guy up quick here. You know, this one's a permit because it's got a crab on it. This is a big fish here. A little tighter on the drag. Uh, God, I don't want to feel a big thump thump. That usually means the jewfish has got him. Uh, this guy in. Blair, what kind of knot do you use to uh, tie this uh, power protomono with? 
A uni to uni is the one I find best, Glenn. Okay. Oh, it's holding up on this permit, that's for sure. Any more? Jeez, a whiz. <laughs> oh, oh. <sighs> Glenn, what, you got some eating that big old jack over there? Yeah. Mm. Big Jew fish on the jack over there. <sighs> this guy is so tough, Glenn. He's whooping my butt. <laughs> Come on up, guy. Glenn, this is one you lost here, I think, brother. All right, get him for me. Barely. No, he went back down. Here he comes. Do, 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 He's over here playing with a big old Jewfish. Giant Jewfish. Trying to keep him at bay while I get this guy up. Look at the size of this permit, Glenn. What's that? Is that 30 pounder? This could be the 30 pounder. All right. Could be the Mogan of the day. Mogan of the day with big oh. C's. Oh, 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 look at the size oh, oh, oh. of this Jew fish. Oh, just got it. <laughs> no stopping him now. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Sorry. I, I kept him at bay. We got the, hey, we got what we came for. Look. Look at, there's a 30. <sighs> get him up here, Blair. Here, give me your rod. Give me a rod. <laughs> look at this snake. Come oh, here, dude. Oh, what a pig. <sighs> That Power Pro is some st sharp stuff. You got that head turned down the other way. Oh, 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 oh. Glenn gets to do battle with him now. There he comes. Got him. Look at that circle hook right there. Right in the perfect spot again. You just can't go wrong with him. Oh, I think that's a nice one. It's about the same size, Blair. About 24, 25. 24, 25 pound permit off of Marco Island. Pretty consistent. Put this guy back. That dark spots. A little rock pile there. That's where he's hanging, huh? Should be right there. Throw it right in his living room, Blair. I'm gonna put it on his breakfast table. Put it right between the milk and the orange juice. <laughs> Spot right there, the dark spot. Make like a long cast pass and let it sink and pull one through there and see if there's anybody laying in there. That's the spot. I've always wondered what do these eels look like to them? Eels? Eels, I guess. Uh, I, I dissect a few of the fish that we catch here, and uh, the most uh, prevalent thing I guess that we see in them is uh, little blowfish. Little cowfish. There he is. Fish there he on, is, brother. Oh, he feels like a good one, too, bro. Fish on. That's Look at the him. one we're looking That's for the right one, there, baby. buddy. Fish on. Just as we were talking about them eels. What do you think they are? Eels? <laughs> nice fish. This thing's pulling good. That's in order. That's what I love about these when you're uh, back there polling or something. Uh-huh. And you uh the, your client's blocking the front of you. You get a fish on and you like you have the client up in front of him and you can't see the reel. You can always tell when he when he's taking drag out. That's you can hear that reel. It has going a distinctive out. drag, that's for sure. No doubt. Come on, baby. Where is he? <laughs> Cobia. We're hoping it's a Kobe anyway. He sure did eat like a cobia. Yeah, he did. He jumped all over that thing. Came up and whacked it. <sighs> Remember that tide's coming in, it's gonna push us that way. He's running to the right. We need to go over and cut him off. Just get in between the markers. Yeah, I'm going. Fish. Okay. Let's just push him down current and get him away from us. This feels like a real nice yeah, fish. Yeah, he's shaking man. his head a lot like a nice big fish. Going back to the left. Yeah, try to cut him off if you can. Get right to the mark. Want me to do it? Yeah. Come on, baby. Good, good. Man, this is a big cobia. Oh, this is a heavy fish. It's funny. Heavy fish. We're in good shape. Nice heavy fish. I can't wait to see him. This could be a mo. 
Mogan. This is definitely a Mogan. Now what well, classifies well, a Mogan? Well, that could be the biggest fish of the day. Well, that's one of the most questions that we had about the show last year. What in the world's a Mogan? People that, people that hadn't seen the show too much. Uh -huh. we'll, we'll tell you what it is again right here, I think, because I think we're fixing to show you one. But a Mogan is like the biggest fish of your life, biggest fish of the day, anything, you know, it can be. It can be anything you want it to be. We grew up over in Cocoa Beach, me and my producer, and uh, you kind of make words up when you live over <laughs> away from, oh, nice fish, Look at brother. That fish. Nice fish. That is a Mogan. Definitely classifies as a Mogan. That is a Mogan. Uh, well, what are we going to do with this one, Brian? It's my dad's birthday, and he asked me to get him a cobia. Well, and I think we're going to give your dad a birthday present. We usually don't take fish on the show, but he asked me this morning. I called him up this morning, and he asked me, he said, man, if you get a nice cobia, I'd sure love a birthday present. So, Dad, this one's for you, brother. That's my biggest cubby ever, no doubt. Ah, oh, look at that beast. Look at the head on that joker. Nice fish. Come on in here, baby. You think you can get that lip gaff in him? I'll try. Yeah, we'll just lift him up so he doesn't bleed all over the all over the new ranger. Boy, he is feisty. He's a nice one. All right, here we go. There's a lip. Look at that beast. Yeah, I think that one classifies yeah. as a Mogan now. That's a Mogan, buddy. <clears throat> He's going nuts. Where's them uh, explorers at? I got them for you right here. Thank you, sir. Oh, look at that right out of there. These things are great. Sometimes you get so excited you throw them over. These things float. They float, huh? <clears throat> That brother is a cobia. Happy birthday, Dad. Happy birthday. Woo! Yeah! Hey, y'all stay tuned to Addictive Fishing. We'll be right back. Ha! <sighs> permit, permit, where art thou? Permit. These divers probably got them messed up a little bit. They'll settle down. Petey the Pelican. Petty can, petty can. The beak holds more than the belly can. Oh, Blair, that's them right there. Big old herd. Right here. Look at the big black cloud. Welcome back. Tide's just starting to change. The wreck out here is coming to life. The barracuda's starting to come up to the top and float and show, waiting for the permit to get stacked up behind the boat so we can just float them crabs back to them and hang on to them runs. But uh, in the meantime, I'm going to stay up here and check things out. At, at the first sound of a drag screaming, I'm heading down for the battle. Hey, check out that cuda just prowling in the grass. Pretty cool, just waiting for something to come out and snatch him up. It's definitely the stealth. Yo, there's some drag screaming. <laughs> Time to go watch him get whooped. Fish <laughs> on, buddy. Hurry up. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> You got one too. The herd, no? This guy's coming right to me. Yeah. Oh, maybe they, these ain't the big ones, but they're nice ones. And just then they showed up. <laughs> oh, a two fish? Oh. Did you fish get him? I guess. Holy cow! Oh. Did you see him hit that? They whacked it. It's got to be one of the nicest fishes I had on one of these uh, EXT rods. Is that the EXT? Yeah. Man, that's a sharp rod. Oh. Makes a good tarpon stick, too. <laughs> I can't wait to have a poon peel something out on it. Oh. Big usually, fish, Blair. Usually say you can fight a, boat, fight a fish standing still in a boat, but I've never fought a fish from the front of this new ranger before, so. Uh, nice and stable, I tell you that. It is rock solid, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Handles the chop great. Came right up, made that off the surface. I never even saw him hit, I was up there looking. That cork probably slid up the line a little bit. Oh, 
nice fish. I think I the think, cute is coming in. You think this is a grown one? What's that? This one right here. This permit. How big? Do you think it's a grown one? I, th I do think he's grown by the way that drag was singing. Mm, that's a nice one. Yeah. I'd say that's a grown one. They get bigger. They get bigger? Yes, sir. That's a nice fish. Yeah, it's a beauty. Here he is. There he comes. Nice fish. Oh, I don't know how red he is. Don't hold that oh. Don't oh. you love it when they beat you like that? Oh, Look yeah. at the purple in him. I love it when they beat you like that. That one, Look man. That, baby. Oh, that's a good one. Look at the purple in him. Where are those explorers? Uh, somewhere up there. There they are on there. Uh, it looks like he's swallowed. No, there it is. Right in the corner where it should be. What you need it. Yeah, and this goes. A lot easier to roll out with a pair of pliers. Look at that. <laughs> All right. Might be switching. Man, look at that purple. That's a gorgeous <clears throat> fish, huh? That is awesome. Uh, he's a man God, they're heavy. Yeah. That is a heavy fish. Nice. Nice. Time for another. Look at that. Disappears. There he goes. Fish on. Okay. Uh-oh. Another one? Yeah. Go ahead and try that. Go ahead and try that rod. <laughs> You're the one in charge. No, uh -uh. go, brother. He's not a wreck, is he? No, uh, I think this is one of the smaller ones. It looks real small. Snake the captain's <laughs> rod, huh? Yeah, but look what happens when you snake the captain's rod. You catch small ones. Right. Yeah, he's a little 10 pounder. I can see him down there. Yeah, those little 10 pounders are the toasty size. We yeah. don't let these go though. Yeah, you don't need to kill those big ones. That's that's your stock for the next few years, you know. You about ready? Yeah, he's getting there. All right. This is just like a great big old, Ugh, great, big old great big old pompano. Yeah, he is. <laughs> pompano on steroids right there. I can see him with cheese all over him right now. <laughs> I wonder if old Doc's goofy jigs that work on these things. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you've used yeah. them before? Yeah, when they get schooled up, you can tip them or don't tip them. Ah, there you go. It's a nice right fish. on the deck. Look at that. He's had a little remorse. Ooh, a little tiny remorse. Check that out. Ooh, come here, fish. Roll that circle on out of there. Yes, sir. Those eagle claws are great. Good stout hook, huh? Good one. Nice permit. It's starting to turn into a pretty day. Yes, it is. We have been ravaged by the weather lately and seeing this guy right here. Wow. That's a pretty fish. So I, I couldn't be the only one that gets wrecked today. Right. Let's see if you can get a hold of one of them 40 pounders. Then we're going to go catch some poons. Yes, sir. All right. Yeah, aren't you glad you tuned in today? <laughs> hey, did you just come up from diving or what? Yeah. Is there something on my lip? Looks like a little remora. Mm. Mother Nature's fixing to lower the boom. Well, as you can see, we kind of changed tactics a little bit. We're doing a couple drifts through the pass here. We're going to see if we can jump a tarpon. If not, as you can see, Mother Nature's about to hammer down on us. So we're going to try to jump a tarpon. If we don't get one, we're going to close the show here because Mother Nature is fixing to drop the hammer on us. <laughs> Man, that looks wicked. Pretty dark, huh? Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. Don't you just hate it when the weather pushes you off the water like that? We caught plenty of fish that day. And uh, it might have been cloudy, but even on a sunny day like this, don't forget your sunscreen, Ocean Potion. Any of the products we use on the show, you can go to the website and find out anything you want to about them. AddictiveFishing.com. I'm your host, Captain Blair Wiggins. We'll see you next time right here on OLN. Now that is addictive. Oh, nice fish, brother. Nice fish. Now that is big permit bait. Lo and behold, look what we got here. And just then they showed up. Big Boba Reba got him. <laughs>